Following on from the previous video, I asked you to work out this area from uh, this area from negative infinity all the way to uh, to positive infinity. Uh, I also showed you in the previous video that this here is an even function. This is an even function. Um, so because we know it's an even function, we can just integrate it from zero all the way to infinity, and then later on multiply it by two because we know it's an even function. But let's let's do this as if we didn't know it was an even function. Let's pretend we didn't know it was an even function. So in order for us to do this, we would um, well in order for us to integrate from negative infinity from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity, we would break it up into two parts. So in order for us to do this, we would need to do it from negative infinity all the way. So that's negative infinity all the way to zero, all the way to zero. And then from zero, and then from zero, integrate it all the way to um, to infinity. Integrate it all the way to infinity. So we, so in order for us to to evaluate this, we would break this up into two sections. Uh, from negative infinity to zero. That's from negative negative infinity to zero. And then from zero, and then from zero, all the way to to uh, positive infinity. All the way to positive infinity. But uh, but our normal routine would be for us to integrate it from an arbitrary point. Let's call it a. So uh, so this is the way we normally do it. Um, integrate it from a all the way to zero, all the way to zero. So from a all the way to zero, and then from zero, and then from zero all the way to an arbitrary point b. Let's call it b. So all the way to b, and then later on we can let let later on we can let a. We can later on we can let a head all the way to negative infinity. We can let a head towards negative infinity, and then we we can also let b move all the way to positive infinity. We can let b move all the way to positive infinity. So our normal routine would be to you know, our normal routine would be to to work it work it out from neg from from a to zero and then from zero to b. So now it just boils down to to us trying to integrate this. So um so try and stare at this and try and work out how you would integrate this bit. Um by now you um well to integrate this bit you would um you would rewrite this well, sorry you would rewrite this as this something squared. So um but by now you should train yourself to be able to recognize that um if if you write this as this and then this here is now of this form. This here is, is now of this form, one plus x squared. Well the minute you the minute you see this you should know you should know that to integrate this it would be uh, arc tan of x. So um so any time you see something of this form here to integrate it you you uh, you would you would get this. To integrate it it would be arc tan of x. Now if I if I were to give you arc tan of a bubble and ask you to to differentiate to differentiate this, you well if you differentiate this, it would give you this. It would give you one over a one plus bubble squared. But then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself. You've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself. So if if you look at this here, if you look at this here, um, th this. This here is the exact derivative of this. That's this bit here. So, so when you look at this here, e to the x, uh, and then you, you, you late, later, you, this bit here, you had to times it with the, uh, sorry, uh, well, this bit here, you had to times it with the derivative of this. Well, the derivative of the bubble here would, would also be e to the x, and this gets multiplied to the top. The point here is that to integrate this, um, train yourself to be able to to spot that you can write this as this something squared, and then and then looking at this here, this is the um, is the exact derivative of this. So the point is that once it's written in this form here, if you integrate it, it will then give you this. Okay, um, I will continue in the next video. So to integrate this, it would be it would be this. Okay, I will continue in the next video.